Yeah, and Gluto has actually taken a couple names as well. Gluto uh, still chilling. He's going to have to play his fellow European after this one as well, and Mr. Yeah. R. That's going to be an unfortunate mm -hmm. kind of team kill for them. Yeah. Looks like Mars actually going to opt to be a little bit more comfortable today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> going, obviously, he's got the always has that uh, chilled, that relaxed look uh, in his clothing. That so. shirt is dope. What is that shirt? I don't know. Is, uh, it's got, like, I, I love somewhere? when the outfits have like the simple logos, you know? Yeah. Like that, that like just a little battlefield. It's great. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and see if uh, we're ready to get started real soon. Snake and Zero Suit. It's going to be interesting, I want to see. Definitely yeah. have not seen this matchup too much. Obviously, if for the Zero Suit meta, I feel like it's basically just, for off the top of my head, Juice and Mars, whoever they run into. Yeah. So you can kind of get an idea of like, how the matchup might play out. Yeah, so Mars is going to be trying really hard to just keep MVD above him all the time. Uh, yeah. The only issue with that is every time that he tries to up air, MVD might pull a grenade, and then he's going to get a trade for it. Not you know, ideal for Mars, but... You know, I think you take it in that instance. Yeah, already starting off really aggressive, getting some good damage. Not gonna get that forward smash though. Yeah, I mean you can see like this is in Mars's playstyle. Usually he'll try to do for like a soft reset. He won't really try to go in with a guaranteed combo. He'll wait to see what MVD's reaction will be first, and then uh, go in with something afterwards. He usually likes to wait till elicit a reaction first. He's spacing really well around the grenades that MVD is throwing down his traps to kind of keep him away. You know, every time that he throws out a hitbox, he's got to be careful that he's not hitting a grenade as well. Mm -hmm. Trying to go in with a burst option. MVD not quite finding anything yet. There we go. The first grab. That's going to be big. Tech chase into a dash attack. Put him in an off -stay situation. Just be another down throw, but a little bit slow. The grenade blew up a little too early. Mm -hmm. He might have been trying to see if he can find a reaction, too. Usually, if you place the grenade behind you while you grab, maybe they try to do a roll away like we saw there. Maybe just trying to collect data on the next tech chase afterwards. And MVD, this is Snake. He is very bloody, but that doesn't mean that he's anywhere near kill percent. But at Mars is near kill, <laughs> kill percent, just at like 90 or something like that. That yeah, was second early. Hit, second hit four tilt. Wow. I'm surprised I landed. All right, and going to get a combo off the C4. Very nice. Yeah, uh, even though you may think you have a lead against Snake, the damage output off of this character, uh, it's not like a broken record, but it, yeah. it can add up very quickly. And the hardest thing about Snake, you know, you can put damage on Snake. Anyone can put damage on Snake. That's easy. But taking the stock, that's where you separate the boys from the rest. Yeah. Ooh, okay, quick spot dodge. Gonna get that grab. Just jump right over it. Not quite gonna get the kill, like I said. I like the attack with the side B. Not quite able to find it. That was really cute. I like that the little uh, slipped off, had the grenade in hand, and tossed him to prevent an edge guard from Mars. There's going to be another attempt at the up throw, but now it's a little bit stale. MVD, the percent's going up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. I don't even know if Mars meant to be in the range of the C4. He tried to bait it out, but MVD was already ready for it first. All right. I believe the next grab up throw should do it, but we'll have to see, man. Mars, he's got to make something happen before he loses this second stock. There's going to be an up throw. Not going to take it. Still not enough. Yeah. Even you thought it was going to be enough, but not quite. Oh, but there we go. Side B. Finally going to catch a roll, but I mean, MVD got a lot of mileage off that first yes. stock. Yeah, but we've seen at the same time, Mars can't rack up this percent really quickly. But against Snake, you're going to be getting a lot more trades than you'd like in that Nikita. And it finally comes out. I like what he's doing. He's hesitating to... Oop! Never mind. Okay. I, I like how he was hesitating for the Nikita to try and elicit the flip kick and get be ready for that. Wow. Landing C4. Takes another stock right there. Yeah, man. It's looking like the 4th of July for MVD right now. All these explosions going his way. Yeah. Go ahead and celebrate the first victory of first game. Unless Mars can try and figure out something. He's got to make something happen right now. Yeah. MVD has just been controlling the space on the stage so well. Mars really has not been able to establish himself. And every time that he does kind of take stage control, it's always in a position where MVD is kind of able to just, you know, avoid whatever hit that he wants and then get a favorable trade, if anything. Okay. Got the conversion into the Nair. And every time that lands, man, I still can't believe how much damage it does when you get all of the hits of the Nair. Oh, yeah. The kicks. Crazy. The kicks are strong. Yeah. Right? Lands a grenade. Oh, there's explosions on both sides. It made it very difficult for Mars to find a defensive option. Get caught right there. Yeah. One more time off stage. Ledge control. Oh. Drag down. Ooh. Little I little like the attack. Yeah. It was a good mix-up. Oh, that's that. The sleeping bag. Just land on it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So, MVD with a very solid start on game one. That was, yeah, that was really, really strong. I think... Based on that game, you know, if we get triplats again, MVD is going to take it every time. 
he just looked so good, so ready to set himself up, and, you know, it showed. Yeah, I think a big problem with Battlefield specifically was that when he lands C4 and when he lands grenades on those different platforms, he gives them a lot better aerial control. And then secondly, Zero Suit loves to be in the air. She likes to do full hops and short hops and then land with aerials. But as soon as the MVD sees an initial jump, then like a C4 or a grenade will come off. And he got a lot of damage and a lot of stocks and conversions that way. Yeah, so and we the, gotta pl the platforms really helped him out. At least like with being able to put a grenade on the platform and say like, you cannot enter this airspace. This exactly. is off limits. <laughs> And it actually started off with Mars being relatively strong, but as soon as MVD got his footing, that was the big issue. So maybe Mars has to be even more aggressive and uh, not let Snake really set up what he wants. But again, that's really difficult to do. So we'll have to see what the new game plan is going to be. Yeah, and Town and City is a really even stage for so many matchups because it's like half FD, half a triplat, and you know a lot of the time these characters like. DSS in this matchup really just want this FD mode. So right here is where you're going to really see Mars try to put the pressure on. All right, the parry. The portals don't come out in time. Oh, and Tech Chase into Boost Kick. Is that enough? Not quite. Yeah, that was really good, knowing that, you know, back throw wasn't really going to do much for him. MVD was just going to go high, but right there, Mars able to seal out the stock. Yeah, try to, okay, I, and with, with the, the flatter range and the, the higher platforms definitely gave Mars a bit more aerial control, so he can shine a little bit more on the movement. Yeah, and it's a lot harder for Snake to kind of set up on the Town and City platforms because of their height. Yeah. Uh, you know, bar the middle platform on the triplat setup, there's not really a lot of space for Snake to get up there and drop a grenade or drop a C4. Yeah, you have to be very committal. Like, you have to come into a double jump and go really high if you want to set up for platforms. So. Yeah. Okay, catching with the Zair. Yeah, Mars starting to kind of cook MVD's grenades, throw them back at him. So we'll see if MVD decides to kind of mix up the timing in which he's throwing these grenades out. Oh, very nice from MVD. I like the little spot dash to avoid the grenade. Oh, and a turnaround boost kick. Not enough. Well, what's the call going to be? Oh, he stuck him. Mars is going to get right on top of him, yep. Oh, it, he stuck it back onto himself, yep. All right, and it eventually should fall off, or he might lose the stock before then. There we go. Side B, almost enough to it. All right, C4 not going to come into play that stock. Mars, total control so far. Yeah, and uh, this time around, Mars definitely has a lot more moves to move maneuver and just keep his distance away from Snake. In case the snake tries to do a setup, he doesn't feel constrained by the different grenades everywhere. Usually there was at least a grenade on both sides, but with this stage it's a lot wider, so he has a lot more room to maneuver because of it. Right. Alright, oh. there's the setup, the Nikita. Gonna catch that boost kick before Mars can get anywhere close to the stage. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't think I can find anything. There's a Nair, very big damage. Doesn't quite connect into anything else, but he's still got the control. Keep going the anti-air, the back air. Extra damage. Yeah. And MVD right now, he can't safely pull these grenades as he's landing. Just because Mars is he's kind of faking a lot of attempts at going up and getting him, and that boost kick is going to seal out game two. Mars going to tie it up. That was a total different. Like, if you're looking at those two games, they tell very similar stories, but in the other person's favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very strong response from Mars. I think that's something that he really needs continuing on into the set if he wants to move on. We'll have to see on the stage picks. I'm really thinking that the small stages like Smashville are probably banned. We're going to Kalos this time around. We'll have to see how that goes. This, I don't think, you know, may, I'm assuming that MVD knows better than me. But I feel like Kalos is just kind of town and city, but with the constant side platform. Yeah, like stuck on phase two of town yeah. and city, yeah. We'll see. I guess it mostly depends on if uh, Mars is going to Two stock him again. Then yeah, maybe the same thoughts. But let's see. Yeah, the one difference is that MVD is gonna have a lot more landing options on this stage as he's coming back to the ledge, you know, being able to mix up air dodges with the platform. Oof. Yeah, stuck on uh, stuck on with there, so he's gonna get a big punish from that. Mars already starting off very strong again, and I like that. See what he does? He does the double jump, elicits a reaction, and then goes in for the dare. He likes to wait and see what MVD wants to do first. Yeah, Mars, he's starting to kind of bring out the mix-ups. He's, he's tired of waiting. He's looking for his ways to seal out stocks that MVD wasn't expecting so far. Yeah, I like that jab pressure. Jab one, wait for an option. Sometimes that's the SS, that's what you have to do. Because jab one, two, three, very unsafe sometimes. Yeah, it's going to be a boost kick. That's not going to kill. Great positioning, though. 
Point the grenades. Yup. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. goes for another one, and that one is going to do it. Mars, 68.5% so far. Yeah, I just love that. Waiting for the, the back air to whip first, and then while he's a sitting duck, because a lot of snakes aerials last for a very long time on whip. So you can just go in and get a big punish like that. Yeah, and ZSS is a character that's really well equipped to do so. You know, she's just so fast and her moves come out so quickly that she can get these really long extended punishes on those little whiffs and back throw into the C4 MVD. Maybe that's what he was looking for. Yeah. Oh, finally. Able to get a dare out of it. Very nice conversion off the explosion, but let's see what Mars has it on the response. Yeah, I really admire how Mars knows that whatever he tries to land, it probably won't connect. Death? No, not quite. He, pro he knows it probably won't connect, so he tries to wait for the next option, like a spot dodge or like drop shield instead. Right. Or jump. MVD finally able to make his way back into the advantage state. Mars. He's oh. He air dodged or something. He dropped a little too low, and you know the boost kick is not enough vertical mobility. Ooh, that actually really sucks. The grenade wow. actually popped him out of the buried phase. Yeah. He's gonna be able to get that stock. Unteckable, there's the double bounce, and Mars is okay. Last stock here in game three. Oh, it just runs right through the C4, very brave from Mars. Well, he knows that, you know, he can run through the C4 and he can run through most of these grenades because these grenades aren't going to detonate unless he throws out a hitbox or if it's, you know, what, two and a half seconds? Yeah. Yeah, you got to cook it a little bit first, but not quite yet. There's the down throw. Okay. Mars has been rolling left every single time, so I'm glad that MBD kind of did that dash forward to check, but Mars mixed him up with the normal getup. Yeah. Okay, so Nikita not quite going to be able to find anything. Yeah, these two really trying to find their way in. There we go. Starts with a paralyzer. That's a big conversion. Putting him on the off stage. Wow. Went real deep on it. He's going to be able to make it back thanks to the wall. Oh, but can't catch the end lag on the directional air dodge and ready for the C4 as well. Mars wow. has taken control in this second stock. He has not let MVD get a turn to speak at all. Finally, <laughs> MVD getting in. Uh, jumped right on top of him, just caught him waiting in shield. The drag down there into jab one. He was looking for a roll behind so that he could up tilt it. Yeah, but no reaction from Mars. Kept us cool during that conversion. Now Mars kind of camping the air a little bit, not wanting to get grabbed, down thrown. Just get around the flurry projectiles. Ooh, <laughs> I thought he was going to get a hit by the landing Nikita. Great spacing from Mars, going to catch him with the side beat. Still not a enough. great poke. One more good hit could do it for Mars. Same with MVD. Yeah. He can up tilt like an anti air or something. Like Back throw. Yeah, just get the control. <gasps> he almost got the berry. F tilt, not enough. Across the stage, not quite. Nikita, up and he smash. gets in the up smash wow. barely in time. And that is all in part to ZSS's speed on the ground. Once she hit the ground, she was able to outpace that Nikita and get there in time. Yeah. If she had stayed in the air, wasn't going to happen. Very nice from Mars. So I actually think that stage was better for MVD, and the reason why is because having those side platforms there the entire time, as opposed to on Town and City when they're just there every so often, means that you actually can put C4 on there, you can put grenades on there, and they actually will stick around as opposed to the platforms just kind of just dip it while you're trying to get your kill setups. Yeah. MVD looking a little upset. I think he thought that with the Nikita he would have had it, but maybe just, uh, just kind of dropped it on the angle or something. But unfortunate. Well, he can go back to Kalos. He knows that uh, probably this is his best bet, all things considered. It's definitely the best he's done so far, besides the initial stage. Right. And there's no way Mars is going to let him go back to Kalos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like combo that. extensions, tech, tech chases. In. Wow, that was so many pummels. Yeah. I think he wanted to do a pummel release into like the grenade that MVD dropped and then maybe get a combo off of that, but he got the pop-up animation instead of right. uh, like the release animation. Mars right now, and he's got so much momentum. He is not letting MVD breathe. He really wanted to go up there and get him. I almost had a Smash 4 flashbacks for a second there with that boost kick. <laughs> okay, tech check. All right, went behind him. I think he could have just chilled. Instead of going for the dash attack, he probably could have just thrown out the, the C4. MVD finally getting some stage control, getting able to set up and, you know, evening up the percent. These two really wow. going blow for blow, but that's one of the things about Kalos, too. Sometimes it's difficult to get able to land onto the ledge. Okay, just running up tilt. Sure. Yeah, sure, MVD. These guys are swinging at each other right now. 
and Mars seems to be kind of, even though MVD has kept this even, it seems like Mars is the one who's dictating the pace. And that's a really dangerous thing when you're playing against the SS. Right, he's throwing out a couple more grenades. Catch him on the jump, I like that. MVD's trying to control the air a little bit more so he can end here. And then to get a uh, grenade explosion conversion. Is that Ooh. gonna kill? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, Snake likes to recover high, uh, or sometimes in scenarios where he wants to land back on the stage and back to the ledge, but those pla platforms on Kalos, this time. All right. That was nice. I don't think we get to talk about <laughs> why things are working out for these guys. They don't They don't want us to stay talking about one thing at one time. Yeah. Either, Either way. Saying, like, he wants to keep it close right there. That was a very nice down smash. Yeah. Do the spacing. Oh, my and gosh. And cover both tech rolls, probably. Marsh just can't get in right now. Finally gets the back air. Oh, got the last hit. Try to throw out an air, I think. Gets beaten out. Dragon Ball Z moment. They're back onto the stage. This is looking very similar to game three. Yeah, either one of those two could really find something. The grenade. Oh, I was looking for that up air, yeah, but not frame, quite. Frames away from that one. All right, catches uh, MVD in the air this time. Oh, that's the... gotta be it. Yeah, blaster boost kick. There we go. MVD out of the tournament. Out at uh, ninth place, I believe. This is his top 12. Yes. And so, yeah, Mars is going to be moving on in the bracket, keeping himself alive despite a relatively early.